In the last 10 years, from a student to, to a person who made it to the Forbes list, all I learned is this 10 different rules that I trained myself for my career. And this is the first rule. Next slide. As I said before, every person has got a skill showcased to the world, but none of them are speaking it out because of their, there is no platform or there is no something like to tell the world that, hey, I'm good at something. What I believed is if you have a talent or a rare skill or anything in your life, you can be good at dance, you can be good at music, you can be good at some good artistic skill or anything, innovator, any. But if you don't have a platform also, but if you try to do one simple thing, if you tell the other person that you're good at something, you'll be seeing the next steps in a different way. It's not like, you should not stop your skill and saying that, hey, I might be good, but there might be good people out there. So you do not fear that particular one part. But if you tell the world that you're good at something, the other person will remember you with that particular skill for the rest of his life. Next slide. We have a bunch of friends so started this magazine called Fuel and Wysak. What, How I came apart with this is because all of my thing said that, hey, I told a person saying that, hey, I, I can really do good designs. That's all. That's all. That's all I did. And we started this Fuel magazine and I'm the code designer. And what we had is like one of the naval officers saw, INS Dega officers saw and we got a free visit to the all the Diana Sega at that particular time. And it told, as I told you before, the all you need to do is one simple thing. Tell the world that you're good at something. Thank you. Next. Next slide. <laughs> this is like one of the crazy rules I did uh, in my engineering. After starting a magazine, everyone will face one small pressure with the teammates, right? I think to start is to have a team, but Whenever you have a team, you also have problems. That's all we all know. If a mother is uh, having problem with a child, all he does is all she does is give a lollipop to her child, so that it, it's it's his word. The child feels lollipop as his word and behaves like I mean he won't trouble the mom anywhere after that. That's what I did. I just gave a lollipop to all my teammates who were troubling me at that time. So, it's not like real lollipop, but I gave them the tags of, let's say, if you want to see your tag, let's please take that and behave yourself. Please uh, take a CMO or C CFO, whatever it is, just be yourself. I'll do my work and I'll be, I'll be good at it. That's what I believe, right? And I made my work better and no one is stopping me never after that. That's, uh, that's what I did with my second rule. Next. When your family. But how to win your family? How to get them to your side? How to get them to your side? I don't know how to, how all can get, but this is how I did. Okay, I went to my home and I started um, uh, getting uh, from my mom and saying like, hey, your uh, your waste, your life is waste, your time is your I mean, you can't do any more. You can't get a placement. You can't get a job. That's what she's saying. That that particular time. Okay, done. I'm done with that everything. Eleven o'clock is came out of home, I went to my school and I, all I know is one simple thing, I'm good at Vedic Max. This is my second skill I identified in my life. Okay, first is design and the second one is Vedic Max. All I know is like I can teach people well and I went to my school and I said I can teach students, my own school where I studied, where I said that I teach some of the Vedic Max tricks, 50 tricks and some 10-15 tr tricks in English. And I coined a name and I just went there and said, hey, I'll teach tricks to students. That's what I did. All they asked is like, give a demo. If the people like it, they'll pay for you. I gave a demo, 150 people signed up with 200 rupees each. By the end of the day, I got an advance out of that 30,000 rupees. And I went to my home and I gave it to my mom saying that, hey, mom, maybe Maybe I can't do this for my rest of my life. I may, I may not get another session tomorrow or day, next week or something like that. But if I can manage to win this day, I can win my life. I, I will definitely win in my life if you give me a permission of two years of my lifetime in my life. That's how I convinced my mom and I won her. Next, yeah. 
when I came back to uh, my college in Vizak again after holidays, uh, what happened here is, uh, as I said before, I did a magazine and I, I didn't like the team, right? So I said that before. But I wanted to be in a new team. I don't like where exactly I am. Everyone faces the same issue that we are not, we don't like our friends at one point of time. We don't like where we are exactly. And we feel really, really bad that our life is over. Our things are done. But let me just give you an assurance that if you don't like where you are, God has given you the talent of creating your own world. See, this is not what you chosen. You got it. And you can choose another thing. That's what you can do. That's what I did. I didn't like my team at that time, but I went to different college and said, hey, I have a few ideas. And whenever you have ideas or whenever you have courage to do something, people will join you for sure. Okay, let me give you that lessons. So what I did is like I went to oh, another college and said, hey, I have these ideas. I have this uh, workshop idea to go to schools and we can expand it to colleges next. And that's what I said. And many of people said, yes, we can do this. And we started another new organization called Third Night. And we went like anything. But every every time you get a problem, every time you get a problem. That's how I, I mean, this is what I did. This is my own quote, by the way. This is what I wrote, uh, I quoted. And from my entire life, this is what I came to know. How much the world box you, like, let the world box you so that you can think out of the box. What I did is like, hey, I want to start a design agency, but I don't want to do it in a traditional way, like everyone else does, just start a company, say that I'll do a logo, I'll do a logo for 3,000 rupees in the start. And I don't want to start like that, not like it's normal traditional law. Uh, a design agency or something like that. I want to be different. I want to learn design. But how can I learn design? I can't spend next four years of my life learning again design. I can't spend money on that because I'm, I came from a middle class family. What I did there is this. I chose the same very state of Andhra Pradesh. Okay. And learned real, real design. I thought out of the box. Maybe this is not way out of the box, but this is how learn design. Not by regular means, but yeah, next slide please. I don't know how many of you know this word, but yes. Apart from the problems I'm discussing, but we also have that one thing that every time you get a chance, you might take it light. You might take it like, hey, I might not be a good person. Uh, and you feel, uh, you feel that, hey, I'm not, I'm not the right person maybe, or I am not capable enough maybe. Everyone has got this another way of new problem. But what we figured out at that particular time is whenever you get a small chance, let's say volunteer for a TEDx event, yes, done, I'm there. Volunteer for uh, one of an entrepreneur fest, yes, done, I'm there. I'll be doing that. For free, yes, for free. I don't mind getting paid also. That's what I did. Next slide, please. That's what I did. I went to volunteer one of the top entrepreneur fests in Hyderabad where I came get contacts of almost Hyderabad. I went to August West and I went volunteered there. I went to Jagrathi, I don't know how many of you know, but this is one of the crazy rides that happens across India from uh, Mumbai to Mumbai again. It went from the south and it goes north and come back to Mumbai. Went with 450 individual like-minded people like me across India from different uh, ways of life. Okay, we went, we traveled and we learned many things. One of the first incubated startup in Vizac, Sunrise Startups, uh, launched by CP and Garu at that particular time. And we were the first ones that said, hey, we want it and we want to prove and we want to help the other companies who want to have brand identity. And then arrived as one of the product leaders in Hyderabad, product leader forum. So we, this is the product leaders forum of uh, Hyderabad. We have big product leaders like we have BVM Mohandadigar, we have multiple big stakeholders there who came and I'm not a great person to be there, but yes, with all the small things I accepted, I also got offered a big step there. That's what I say. Carpe diem, I don't know if you know that word, or if you don't know meaning, this is the meaning of it. Seize every day, or seize every moment. Seize every opportunity. Whatever it is, whether it's small or big, whether you are having a small talent or a big talent, seize that particular thing. Next. Yes, once I'm done with my designing career, I always know that, hey, this is not my forte. Design is always my skill. I want to use that skill to build something. And this started my entrepreneurial thinking. I want to bring back that student uh, magazine again. 
what I believe is like, okay, I got a design skill. I know how to design a product now, and I know the technical. I have a technical capability as well, and I can hire a team now. All I want is, all I believe, right, is that every student has a sort of skill. That's what I believe. But they don't have a platform like this. Like they don't have a platform like me. Or they, everyone might not travel, might not go through all the risks and stuff. But if they have a platform to say, hey, this is where I want, uh, this is where you can tell the world that you're good at something, they'll work. I wanted to start one of the products, but many people said this. These are the people who actually stop you from everything. They'll stop you from every other small step you want to do. These, these people are like just friends with you. These people are mentors. These people are anyone who, who are toxic in their life and who don't want to encourage. I want you guys to strictly follow this one particular rule in your life to become successful anyway, anytime in the future. Yes, avoid negativity. Avoid negativity like anything. Avoid toxic people like like cockroaches. Okay, so what I did is like uh, I started anyways uh, a product. I wanted I wanted to have uh, a very good product uh, designed by my uh, own team. I wanted to become an entrepreneur and. Uh, Luckily, on that very same day when I want to start, next slide please. Um, uh, Ratan Tata came to launch uh, Tiha. Been there, invited to be there, sat on the first row, shook his hands with him. We all know that, right? We, we, we raised by saying these two words, Tata Villa, right? <laughs> so, whenever we, we have the prominent persons in front of you, you're like, wow, done. I'm good for this life. That's what I believe. That's what I felt at that moment. I shook his hands. I we took uh, multiple photos, and he gave a blessing, saying that, "Hey, you have to start this. That's all. That's that's one person, one positive person, in that time at least wanted me to start a product of mine. With this blessing, yes, we started. Next, next slide. Yes. But yeah, starting a product is not easy. Starting or being an entrepreneur is not easy. You will always have, always have problems. But whenever you face challenges, whenever you find a way to go through that challenge, you'll always feel this Eureka moment. My Eureka moment came like this. We have particularly two Eureka moments properly. One is, I went to a college, I went to a college and I said that, hey, I wanted to start a magazine in your college. And ma'am uh, said, ma'am, Sulita ma'am said that, hey, you can't encourage students to write stories because we've been trying it from last one and a half year, all we got is six stories. And as I asked you the question, like as I asked you before, the question is, how many of you have talent? Everyone have. But whether they want to tell it in the platform, public platform, yes, they want to tell it, but they don't want to go through HOD, submit an article, that goes to a principal, he approves, that goes to another person, Hey, okay, it's okay to publish. Then that goes to a technical guy. He will publish it sometime after later. All they want is quick access and a simple admin approval for the college. That's it, right? That's all I did. We launched the magazine and we got 60 press, 67 stories in less than three weeks. That's what we did. We said yes, we did it, and we shouted Eureka that but that that moment itself. Yeah. Apart from other problems, so what we got, the major problem that the young generation have is uh, this. Okay, I hope you got all, almost that, right? The problem what we have, what we think is like, all the problems we think we can solve it and we will try to solve it at least or we will leave them. But this problem will just definitely fail at, that, at one other particular moment. It's the same thing what I ha happened to me one and a half year before. I went to this phase of, uh, I, I can't call it depression, but I'm not liking my li uh, life because of some other person who did something to me. Right? Many people said this, many people said this, but I don't know how many of you even read the book Secret? How many of you read Secret? Good, good for you. But if you didn't, didn't read it, please read it again. Everyone, everyone believes, dreams, everyone says this to believe or dream. We think it's hard. We think it's a problem, right? Believing is because why should I, I believe in myself? I don't think so. I don't think so. I can do it. But once if you start believing what you want to achieve, okay, that's how you achieve things. Yes. 
from a normal village, from a normal town called Papatla to Mavaisak, among other people who said, no, you can't do it, forced to do something else, left alone, tried different things. My mom even saw me as a cockroach, as I said before. Everything happened in my life. But I used every simple rule of my life, the other, all the 10 rules, and I got finally into the Forbes 30 under 30 Asia. It's not even India, I'm talking about the entire Asia here. It's not a simple thing to achieve that, but yes, we believed in it, we made it possible. Second. By the way, this is one of the Wysak magazines. We used to have a magazine in Wysak, and I used to have 2,800 subscribers, and we used to have a, not a big competition, but a little competition, but they asked me to give a post to for their cover pick. Isn't that great? Yeah? Isn't that what you want, like, posing a pick for your competitor magazine? I did that. That's what happened uh, after what I believe in myself, like what I did, uh, all the hard work or whatever it is. Yeah. And this is what happened after I mailed to Richard. He, not anonymous, he didn't even reply, I mean, he didn't even reply until the thing happened. He just replied saying, brilliant. He connected me to the other uh, editor of Virgin Magazines and stuff. And he personally tweeted about my achievement. That's all. That's all. That's my happiest day in my life. That's my happiest day in my life. Getting a personal tweet like that from a billionaire in the world who's live, who has been an inspiration to many other people, who's been followed by millions of people, who's even an inspiration for Steve Jobs himself. Okay. That guy, know my name. That's all you want, right? I, I don't know whether God can know my name. But at least my God don't mind. That's what I believe, and that's what he did. But uh, I'm just happy. That's the happiest day. I scream like anything in front of a college uh, chairman. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> Next slide, please. Yeah. What happened after that is this: once you believe, once you, as I said, once you use all the ten rules, once you don't feel bad about whatever problem you have, once you don't. Once you channelize your energy, once you can think that I can do better, once you can think that I have the skill, and once you tell the world that you're good at something, this happens. I signed an MOU with government. I spoke along with Chandra Nadigaru to 16,000 students in the very WISAC, same WISAC where I studied. I spoke to 16,000 students in, a, in AU grounds. I got a Best uh, Entrepreneur's uh, Startup Award, Best Startup Award, Emerging Startup Award, and even I represented Indian Embassy at Finland the last December. As I said before, I want to conclude, I want to conclude this one small thing. If a normal person like me, if a normal student or if a normal guy from a middle class town with a middle class family who faced every issue, who faced the issue with the mom, who faced the issue with the team, who faced the issue with the politics and team, who faced the issue with the mentors, who faced the issue with even the girlfriend. If a normal person like me can do it, I hope you all can do it too. Thank you so much.